Hi, this is Emmanuel. Today we are going to talk about how to run two way analysis of variance ANOVA in SPSS. Alright, so a two way ANOVA is used when you want to know how two independent variables in combination affects a dependent variable. For example, let's say you are researching which type of fertilizer and soil type produces the greatest crop yield in a field experiment. Note, for a two-way ANOVA, the interaction tests are having three null hypotheses at the same time. Okay, so the first hypothesis would be there is no difference in group means at any level of the first independent variable. The second hypothesis, null hypothesis, will be there is no difference in group means at any level of the second independent variable. Why the third null hypothesis would be the effect of one independent variable does not depend on the effect of the other independent variable. Here we are talking about their interaction effect. So for the third null hypothesis, we can also put it as there is no interaction effect. Now, for each of the null hypotheses, there is an alternative, alternate hypothesis that comes with it. Now, let us go straight to our XPSS and look at how to run the two-way ANOVA in it. All right, so here is our SPSS, the soil, the fertilizer, and crop yield. For the soil, we are having four types of soil, which we have coded as one, two, three, four, as followed, sandy soil, clay soil, loamy soil, and silt. For the fertilizers, we are having three types of fertilizers, which we have coded as one, two, three. They are NPK, SSP, and TSP, respectively. Okay, so we have all this in place. We have a nominal data, nominal data. They are both independent variable. And for the yield, um, the yield, the, it is this. Uh, this is our dependent variable. Okay, so we'll go to our data view. In our data view, I have already, I have a data already. That we are going to use for the purpose of this lesson so quickly we go to analyze for the two-way ANOVA we go to general linear model then we just put our cursor on it and this three other this other menu will come out and we go straight to univariate in univariate we have the dependent variable and the fixed factors random factors covariates okay since we are not having random factors we are going to work with the two factors we are having and those factors are actually our dependent independent variable and they are soil and fertilizer so you click on soil you hold your shift and you press your arrow down key down arrow so that the both of them will be highlight highlighted then you click on this arrow and it goes into this box you click on yield and fix it in our dependent variable then after doing this we go to e m means estimating means so we click on it and uh, we take our soil we do the same thing shifts and down arrow key and um, move it to this uh to this column then continue then we click on our option we click on our descriptive statistics and homogeneity test okay and we're going to leave our significant levels at 0 0.05 which is also uh, 95 percent confident interval and okay and after doing all this we click our okay All right, so here is our result. Okay, so we have our descriptive statistics here. 
So our description statistics is showing the various mean for soil, uh, soil uh, uh, sandy soil, and the uh, MPK sandy soil and SSP sandy soil and TSP. Okay, and here is our standard deviation. Our standard deviation is quite high, um, showing telling us that the the data is far apart from the mean, and respectively for every other columns we are having here. Then when we scroll down we see our Levent's test of equality of error variance now you would see our significant um, p-values here are quite high telling us that there are no significant difference okay so we would want we wouldn't want um, a situation where we have a significant difference of the variance because we are trying to test the homogeneity of these variants okay so we would want them we would want them not to be uh, uh, significant and when they are not significant we say it is to satisfy the assumption for the two-way ANOVA okay so we proceed and um, this is actually a two-way ANOVA test okay so for soil we can see from the p-value of 0.002 that this is significant and for fertilizer, just like we said earlier, the false hypothesis, there is no significant difference. But here we are having a significant difference. Okay, so we reject the null hypothesis here and accept the alternative hypothesis. For fertilizer, also, there is a significant a difference. But for the interaction between soil and fertilizer, the interaction between soil and fertilizer, that is to say, the effect of soil does not depend on the effect of fertilizer. We, we would see that there is no significant difference because for the value of 0.705 is greater than 0 0.05 which is uh, our confident level so we reject the null hypothesis uh, rather we, we we reject the alternate hypothesis and accept the null hypothesis saying that there is no significant difference between the effect of soil and fertilizer Okay, so we can see go for that to talk about the estimated marginal means, which we checked earlier for uh, fertilizer. We can see that we have uh, a lower standard uh, error, which also tells us that uh, the 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 our data is uh, clustered at the uh, at the at the at the mean. And uh, also is telling us that uh, the MPK, the SSP, and TSP are all significantly. Uh, uh, there is a significant difference on the effects of the yield. All right, so we can also see that for soil as well. So we see that there is a significant uh, um, difference of the effect on the of the effect of soil, a uh, sandy so sandy soil, clay soil, and loamy soil on the yield because of the standard error which is um quite low okay so for this interaction between soil and fertilizer you we would also observe that the standard error is quite higher showing that then telling us that um for sandy sandy soil and mpk that there is no uh, effect for sandy soil and ssp there is no effect uh, for no significant effect and for sandy soil and uh, TSP there is no significant so it's just telling us that the interaction between soil and fertilizer do not really uh, the, the effect of soil does not depend on the effect of a fertilizer that there is no significant uh, difference so for the third um, hypothesis we would accept the null hypothesis and reject the alternate hypothesis Okay, so that is that for that. If you have any other question, you drop your question on the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. That will be all for today. Thank you. And remain blessed.